Hello, my name is Adoni Raphael with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to change the Avaya ERS4000 default telnet passwords. There are many security reasons why you may want to change the default telnet passwords. The ERS4000 default telnet passwords are well known. For security purposes, you may want to change the default passwords after the initial installation. To follow your organization's security policy and network management password strategy, you may want to change the password every so often, for example, every three months. The valid password should be 10 to 15 characters long and contains at least two lowercase letters, two capital letters, two numbers, and two special symbols. The password is case sensitive. We'll go through these steps to change the ERS4000 default telnet passwords. First, we log into the system with the rewrite privilege using the RW user account and password. Then we enter the privilege exec mode with enable. Then configuration mode with conf t. Then we change the password for the RW user account using the command CLI password rewrite password. Then we do the same thing for the RO user account using a similar command CLI password read-only password. Then after that, we will enable the locally defined passwords for telnet access by using the command CLI password telnet local. Then we will verify the telnet access will require locally defined password by using the command show CLI password type. Then we save the configuration using save config. After that, we'll log back into the system with the new password to verify that the new password has taken effect. At the login screen, I'm logging into the ERS4000 with the rewrite login privilege using RW user and password. Then, I'm just entering the global configuration mode with enable and config t. To change the rewrite password, we are using the command CLI password rewrite, then the new password. Then after that, we are changing the read-only password using the similar command CLI password read-only, and then the new password. Then, we enable the local password for telnet access with CLI password telnet local. Then we verify that the telnet access will require the locally defined password with show CLI password type. Let's save the configuration changes with save config. Let's log out. Let's log in again with the new password. And we are in. As you can see, it is a simple process to change the ERS4000 Telnet's default password, but it is important to do so soon after your installation and every so often based on your organization's security policy. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.